What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso or Espresso TK and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video here today on my channel. Today what we got for you guys is the first of many weapon guides and breakdowns here on my channel. This one we're going to be covering the HBR A3, a weapon that I haven't seen much coverage of on YouTube so I figured it would be a great place to start. Now for this one if you want to share it around or leave a like down below it would be greatly appreciated to put a ton of time into testing all this stuff, getting all the information and going frame by frame to figure out just exactly how much each stat we're gonna be talking about here actually affects the gun so without further ado let's get right into the guide the HBR a3 classed as an assault rifle is a great weapon very versatile and it gets the job done I would rank it second or third in feel based off mobility damage and center speed the ball 27 clearly comes in first until it is patched cross platforms the biggest stat I'm pretty sure you're all interested in is the damage that is 34 to 20 depending on the range and how many shots you actually connect with it. The damage multipliers being a head of 1.5, a torso of 1.2, and a leg and arm of 1.0. Close range is going to take you about three shots to kill steady to the chest, leg, arm, and head shot. Mid range is going to be about the same statistics across the platform there. And long range, this is where it's going to start to vary up. It's going to be five shot chest, five shots to the leg, six shots to the arm, and a four shot head shot. I will say that accuracy is quite key in the damage category, especially at range. A red dot or a hybrid sight can drastically increase chances for kills and aim for the multipliers if you so choose to use those optics. Now, another variable that is quite important is the time to kill or TTK as it's sometimes referred to as that is the amount of time it takes from your first bullet to connect to you actually earning the kill this is something that is a main focus of scrutiny in the call of duty world if you do remember last year this is one of the biggest complaints about ghost that the time to kill was way too fast these are a tough thing to balance for developers but so much time is poured into it that they are now quite fair that being said the time to kill for the hbr a3 is at close range a 0.194 seconds and at a distance a 0.387 seconds now going a little deeper into this the time to kill for the HBR a3 is a little bit weird I say that because it's similar to the ball 27 the fire rates of these assault rifles both change over time and the duration of the magazine the HBR a3 slows down over time whereas the ball gains speed in the shots so for the time to kill the more accurate you are initially that's going to dictate the time to kill and that goes for both close range and at a distance now hopping over into some other stats it's got a rate of fire of 620 rpm and a recoil class of low to medium so adding those two factors together this is a nice combination to get you a nice steady flow of shots that can earn you quite a decent amount of kills the center speed is 0.46 seconds and if you don't know what center speed is that is the amount of time that it takes for your weapon to steady out after taking some damage the flinch that you actually get in a gunfight now the one thing that I noticed about center speed in this game is that it's not really susceptible to knockback headshots something that was extremely problematic in Call of Duty Ghosts as well as Modern Warfare 3 seemingly just an Infinity Ward problem. It was a trait of the gunshot though, where the center point of a target would shoot up due to the flinch when hit and produce a headshot instantly. Whether coincidence or fact, I have not seen any evidence of this at Advanced Warfare, which is quite a good thing. Now the hip fire spread is actually quite wide, so it's not very practical to hip fire. Adding a laser sight can improve this and get some hip fire kills, but it still does not play to the forte of this assault rifle. Now moving over into some of the more user controlled stats of the weapon, the magazine size is 30 shots or 45 shots with extended clip attached to the weapon. The reload times are a full of 2.01 seconds and an empty of 2.069 seconds with an ADS speed of 0.2 seconds. Now adding on a little bit more to that ADS, that is standard and has been standard for all the ARs in the past couple of years now in Call of Duty. Ghost and Black Ops 2 had the same exact and the majority of Advanced Warfare carries that on. Overall, I would class the HBR A3 as the second or third best assault rifle in the game currently the ball 27 is sitting at first and the HBR a3 is battling with the AK-12 for that number two spot statistically all three are great candidates to enter the battlefield with and definitely can provide some sort of comfort during gameplay in advanced warfare so that is all for this weapon breakdown guys let me just think down there in the comment section down below if you did like this series be sure to let me know I have a ton of these planned out and definitely can't wait to bring you guys more so thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video be sure to leave a like writing down below and a Shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace for your daily color is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content and any news and information. You guys know exactly where to find it right here by my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicola Espresso or Espresso TK. As always, if you having a great day, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise,
Yeah. 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 Yeah.